Hello everybody and welcome to my 12th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to import a query from a website. Um, so it's not, it's not just any website you can import from, um, they, they, they need to be set up to, to, to run off of um, this, this kind of uh, format. Um, but you, there are quite a few out there for, for stuff that would actually be useful for. So the one that I'm going to show you is this we this website. So it is um, MSN Money, um, and it just gives you the current currency rates into US dollars. Um, so this this will give you kind of an up to date snapshot of what the currency rates are. Obviously, currency rates change um, depending on on kind of the, the economic climate. Um, and so you can't just take this data and put it in your spreadsheet um, because within a few months it will probably be out of date. Um, so you want to be able to reference it quite quickly rather than having to update it all the time. Um, so the way to do this is to do a web query. Um, so I just need to copy this URL and I'm going to go to data import external data and new web query and then it will come up with this window um, and it will default to your home page for your browser um, and that will be your Internet Explorer browser it's not going to bring up uh, so I've got Chrome it's not going to bring up my home page in Chrome um, it will bring up my home page for, for Internet Explorer because it's a Microsoft program um, but from here um, pretty sure you can actually just uh, search the web within it so it's essentially bringing up Internet Explorer um, and there you go and you can go through and you can bring through what you like um, let's say you bring in something random so let's try and bring in uh, Gangnam Style um, and import and you'll notice that when I click OK um, it doesn't actually bring through the website, it's just bringing through the text within the website. Um, so unfortunately, um, and if anyone knows a way how, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but you can't have Gangnam Style playing in your spreadsheet. Um, so let's get rid of that, we don't want that query. Um, we're going to import a new one, so import new web query. And if I paste in my URL, and go to that website. Um, you notice that this one's a lot less interesting than YouTube, maybe, um, but it's it's come through and it's going to give us our conversion rates. And then when we click import, click OK, and it will take a little while to come through. But there you go; it's brought through all of the information. Um, and it's got these in a format that we now know is going to be consistent and we can look up against. Um, so that's really useful. Uh, so let's um, use this to create a little reference. Um, so let's create a currency converter. Um, so in here, this can be called our data. Um, you'll notice that even as a web query, when you press refresh on it, the same as an import query, it's going to update this information. Um, so let's go over here, and we're going to create a little money converter. So let's put over here, let's put our currency, and then you'll select that from the drop down. So this will be our list of currencies. So let's go into here and highlight all of these. Call them currencies. Copy that. And then let's create a drop down in here. Um, if you're unsure how to do this, then I believe it's one of my intermediate tutorials that will teach you how to do a drop down list. Um, but let's just put equals currencies. And so that's got our list of uh, of conversions here, and if we put one amount in here, so um, 
insert currency um in fact let's put that at the t above it um right so australian peso to us dollars uh so this is where you put your currency and then in us dollars um and there we go so let's say you put a currency in here um so let's put in uh did, did it even have pounds on there um it will be sterling will it United States dollar Mexican South Korean Japanese your let's go for euro to US dollar um so let's put it in that we want euros um it's gonna have to be pounds um because that's how my um currency is set up to as default um, so let's say we just put in 50 euros um, let's see if we can change it quickly uh, where's euro just just put in Spanish euro there we go 50 euros um, and then we need to convert that to US dollars so obviously you normally put equals that divided by and then find you a euro to US dollars um, so you get 1.29 um, US dollars per euro so if you're dividing your euros by the ratio then you're going to get uh, divided by 1.29 38.54 and this wants to be dollars and let's have Canada dollars there we go so if you've got 50 euros you're gonna get 38.54 dollars um, and the opposite way around if you had 38.54 dollars you'd get 50 euros that seems like the one way around. So you get one point two nine dollars per euro. So you should actually get more dollars. So I've used the wrong one. Uh, so let's delete that and go there. There you go. So fifty euros equals sixty four point eight five dollars. Now you're probably not going to want it to be like this. You're going to want to want it to look it up. Um, so rather than having that we're going to want it to look up against what you've selected in here um, because obviously at the moment it's not going to affect it at all so let's go get rid of that do a quick view lookup and look up value we're going to look up there table array we're going to look up in here then because we're looking up against the table we need to add our um, our absolute references on so we need to put in our dollar signs um, so add them as so and then we want the third column and then just false and if you don't know how to do v lookups again I think that's one of my intermediate tutorials um, press enter and then as you select the different um, the, the different uh, currency exchanges it's going to give you that rate so if we put in our euros again then you're going to get $64.85 um, let's put in Indian rupees um, so for each 50 rupees you'll get $0.93 um, and so on and so forth and then when we get to United States dollar see it's just converted it to to itself um, so that's how you use data import and how it can be useful um, there's plenty of websites out there so if you're ever struggling with in a situation like that um, just Google for a website that has it there 
Um, generally, anything that's quite live and updates itself will have have a website like that that you can reference. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope to.